So we were hired by the contractor to do an as-built survey on this Aldi retail store site. The as-built is required by the city as part of due diligence to ensure that the site was built according to the site design specs. In doing this, we decided to obtain an ortho photo using the EV drone to save time on site. I'm going to freeze this ortho photo so we can take a look at some of the individual points that we shot. I've already drawn some boundary lines here in the center line of the road to put some preliminary entities in there to get us started. There are certain hard data points that we need to get with our conventional surveying equipment, or RTK GPS equipment. We want to make sure that those points are uh, very accurate. That would include the property corners, the building corners, anything that's near the boundary we felt uh, that we needed to get, the signs or uh, curb and gutter, that kind of thing. All the structures on the site we obtained and, and inverse of those structures, pipe materials and all that, those kinds of things that you have to have for an as-built survey. But the rest of it, uh, we did this minimum field work. And for the rest of it, we're going to rely on this ortho photo to fill in the gaps. So I'm going to turn it back on now. And we can zoom in here and check the uh, accuracy of the photograph against the points that we shot. And here is a curb and gutter shot that is dead on the point of intersection of the curb and gutter. Same thing over here. And here is a intersection of the painted lines where the crosswalk meets a, a prohibited parking area. Everything, every point that we check just hits dead on with this photograph. So it's very impressive. It's very useful information to have. Now, I want to point out that this is not a photograph that was imported into the software and then oriented to the points that we shot. Rather, we set up an RTK base unit at this point here where you see the orange cones and you can see the RTK base unit and its shadow set here at this curb line. The EB drone has a an RTK unit built in so we then flew the mission compiled the photograph and imported it into the software and it came in properly oriented to the site just as you see it. There was no adjustment made. So when I check these points that correlate to the photograph, that's just a good indicator that the photograph is accurate and is coming in just as it should. The building corner is hitting right on the building corner, the sidewalk corners all lining up, and I'm very happy to see this. This probably saved us uh, on the order of two hours on site, if not more. There have been a number of times when we've gone to a site, and I'm sure that other uh, surveying companies can identify with this. You drive a good distance from your office. This site happens to be about an hour from our office. Then you get the data back in the office, and the CAD person is drawing this up and is not quite sure of what is going on with some aspects of this site and, and you have questions when you get it back maybe that need to be answered that require a return trip to the site. So you can eat up a lot of time and money in a hurry by having to return to the site. This ortho photo is going to help to prevent that kind of scenario. We are able to capture all the data out here in this busy right-of-way without having to enter the right-of-way, all the striping, the uh, traffic markings, and so forth. That saves uh, a lot of time, and it's much more safe than sending ground personnel out there to venture into that traffic. So it's a very good use of uh, this ortho photo.
The importance and convenience of having this record can hardly be overstated. This gives us a permanent record of the site conditions exactly as they were on the date of the survey, and that's invaluable information. Now, I want to point out a, a couple of idiosyncrasies about this site that might make a, a CAD person uh, think twice. You notice that there are curb and gutter. This is where the old curb and gutter from the road right of way ended, and it's met with new paving and new curb and gutter which surround the site. And you can see the curb and gutter continues all around the perimeter of the site. But as we go north, curb and gutter is everywhere until you get to this point right in this area. And all of a sudden it turns into a single curb. Moreover, as you go north along this curb line, it makes this odd transition where it curves, it makes an arc to meet the existing curb and gutter. So it, it creates kind of an odd looking feature there. And perhaps you can see it better if I thaw the uh, concrete layer that I've already digitized. So here's the concrete layer that's been thawed. And you can see how it makes this sort of odd transition here where it comes to a, a point. That's the kind of thing that'll make a CAD operator or someone in the office question uh, if that is really what's going on out there in the field when they begin to draw it up. And unless you have field personnel who are very conscientious and people in the office that also conscientiously read the field notes, that's the kind of feature that you might miss. So the ability to have this photograph and be able to digitize it and see exactly what is going on with your very eyes is a, is a very convenient thing. Another area of interest is this parking area. If you pay close attention to the middle of this area, you can see this odd parking stripe that diverges from the adjacent parking stripes and it creates a non-conforming parking space in this area that might be of concern to an inspector or whoever might obtain the as-built when we're through with it. In some localities this would be something that would uh, be required to be corrected. This is another feature that is easily missed unless someone pays close attention in getting the correct data back to the office. This happens to be a rather small retail site, but if this were a large shopping center, you could see how this could be even more valuable and how it could save that much more time. One return trip to the site by the field crew can be quite expensive. It can eat up a number of hours in the day, especially if it uh, coincides with being under pressure to meet a deadline. So this kind of information is very valuable and an ortho photo like this could easily pay for itself. So these are just a few of the advantages of using the EV and having this ortho photo in-house and I thank you for watching.